Here we're going to look at a nice number theory problem from the 2012 European Mathematics Cup. So our goal is to find a quadruple of natural numbers a, b, n, and p, where p is prime, such that a to the 2013 plus b to the 2013 is equal to p to the n. And our main tool is going to be this thing called Sigmundy's theorem. And it says that if a is bigger than b is bigger than or equal to 1 and m is a natural number, then there exists a prime p such that p divides a to the m plus b to the m, but p does not divide a to the k plus b to the k for all k less than m. And there's actually one exception to this theorem, and that's the case when a and b are 2 and 1 and m is equal to 3. So notice 2 cubed plus 1 cubed is equal to 9, which is a multiple of 3, but also 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, which is also a multiple of 3. So this is the only case when this theorem fails. Okay, so now let's jump into the solution. So we're going to start off by simplifying our setup so that we're dealing with relatively prime numbers. And we're going to do that by setting D equal to the GCD of A and B. That means we can write A as D times X and we can write b as d times y, where x and y are some natural numbers. Furthermore, because d is the GCD of these two, we know that the GCD of x and y is 1. Now we'll plug that expression for a and b into our original equation and see what we get. So notice a to the 2013 is going to give us d times x to the 2013 b to the 2013 is going to be d times y to the 2013 and that needs to be this power of our prime p to the n. But now we can go ahead and take this left hand side and factor out a d to the 2013. So that gives us d to the 2013 times the quantity x to the 2013 plus y to the 2013 equals p to the n. So notice the right hand side is a power of this prime. That makes the left hand side also a power of this prime. But that means all kind of multiplicative components of the left hand side are a power of this prime, including d. So that means we can write d as p to the r for some r. Now taking that value of d and plugging it in here and then dividing it over gives us a new equation. What's that new equation? It's x to the 2013 plus y to the 2013 equals p to the n minus 2013 times r. Now let's observe that x and y are both bigger than or equal to 1 making this sum that's on the left hand side bigger than or equal to 2, making this thing on the right hand side also bigger than or equal to 2. So let's maybe write that down at the moment. So this is all bigger than or equal to 2. And that's actually important because if this were equal to 1, well then it wouldn't be divisible by any prime. But then given the fact that it's bigger than or equal to 2, we know that we actually have a non-zero power of our prime on the right hand side. And so the prime divides this left hand side. Now we're going to do a bit of a factoring trick on this left hand side. So I'm going to notice that 2013, well that's a multiple of 3. We can easily see that because 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to 6, which is a multiple of 3. And in fact, we can write this as 671 times 3. Okay, so that makes, again, this thing right here is also 671 times 3. Okay, great. Now we're going to do a bit of a change of variables. So let's set z equal to x to the 671, and we'll set w equal to y to the 671. This may seem kind of unnecessary, and it is a little bit unnecessary, but it does make it a little bit simpler to work with. So we'll take those values of z and w and simplify the left-hand side of this equation. That'll give us z cubed plus w cubed equals p to a power, which is n minus 2013 times r. But let's rename this thing as well. 
let's rename this thing s and notice we know that s is bigger than or equal to one so that's another thing that's pretty important to notice okay now we'll take the left hand side and factor it we know sum of cubes has a standard factorization so we can factor that like z plus w times z squared minus z w plus w squared like i said that's equal to p to the s and again, we know our right-hand side is a power of a prime, which means all multiplicative components on the left-hand side are also power of a prime. So notice that gives us the following two facts, one of which is given, and then one of which is built out of this factorization. So the one that is given is that P divides Z cubed plus W cubed. And then the one that we've gotten out of this factorization is that P divides Z plus W. Okay, great. So it looks like we've contradicted this theorem over here. So that means we're either in our exception, which it's pretty easy to check that we're not in our exception case, or we have the hypotheses not satisfied. And the hypothesis that could not be satisfied would be this one right here, where A is strictly bigger than B. So that tells us that for us, A must be equal to B. Or in our current setup, Z must be equal to W. So we have Z is equal to W, but if Z is equal to W, that means X is equal to Y. But then if x is equal to y, that means a is equal to b. But then if a is equal to b, that means we have an even number on the left-hand side, which means that p is equal to 2. So let's maybe take a summary of our facts, bring it to the top, and then we'll finish it off. So far, we have the following data. So we have p, our special prime, was equal to 2. And then A, we factored as D times X, B as D times Y, where the GCD of X and Y were one. Then we calculated that D had to be equal to two to the R. Recall that D was the GCD of A and B. Now I'm gonna leave you guys a little bit of a homework problem, and you can post in the comments. And that is that X and Y are both equal to one. So again, like I said, post your argument for that in the comments. So now that we have x and y both equal to 1, we're ready to finish this off. So that tells us a has to be of the form 2 to the r, b has to be also of the form 2 to the r. But now putting this together, we see that a to the 2013 plus b to the 2013 is going to be equal to 2 to the 2013 times r plus one. So that tells us that our P, well, we already knew that that was equal to two, but that tells us that our N is equal to 2013 times R plus one. So we've got a whole family of solutions that is indexed by this number R. And that's a good place to stop.